Hey guys, today in this video I wanted to show you the coolest and the most hidden features of the iOS 13 that Apple did not show you during the keynote. And before we're gonna start guys, I wanted to ask for 100 likes on this video and possibly share this video with friends, family, anyone who would be interested in it, they'll be super awesome, so thanks in advance and now let's begin. And let's take a quick pause up here, I wanted to show you guys also my new game uh, that is called NLO and now available on the App Store of course. This is a quick game uh, if you're on the bus waiting for someone have nothing to do just to waste the time here is the great game for it so if you're guys interested link will be down below in the description go check it out that would be super much appreciated now let's begin and okay so the first one is inside of the settings Wi-Fi and here is this uh, little setting for auto joining hotspots so when you're in the bus or somewhere else where there are no Wi-Fi so you can actually auto join somebody else's Wi-Fi from the their phone and use their uh, data for your own personal needs. And the next big thing was the new volume HUD that we've been waiting for for so long damn time. But you can actually, instead of just pressing these buttons and trying to adjust the volume, you can actually do this much quicker, oh, sorry for that birds, uh, but actually interact with it just like that. As you can see, just like in the control center, you can just interact with it, just go down like this and it's gone. Super cool. And hands down, one of the best things uh, in the Safari of the iOS 13 is of course the new download manager. But aside from that, the new Safari also got a few more options. So if you click on this A buttons up here, you will be able to actually select a font size up here. So as you can see, when I select something like 50, I actually get the desktop version of the website, which is so cool. And have you seen that beauty? So if you toggle this uh, silent mode, as you can see, there is the new kind of a pop-up or a notification that says that silent mode is actually off or on. I really, really like now it. Let's go back inside of our Wi-Fi up here, click on the Wi-Fi, this I information button, and here is the new option for low data mode. So as I understood this feature is it's gonna actually use less data from your Wi-Fi and probably uh, the apps are gonna load faster or maybe just uh, you know it's gonna save the battery life or stuff like this because of course this reduces uh, the network data use. And have you ever experienced this uh, app store download limits where you couldn't actually download the app you wanted or a game where there was no Wi-Fi around you but now Apple finally fixed that and if we go inside of the settings now inside of the iTunes and App Store and here you can actually select this download limit and we can actually select it to always allow so all of the apps are gonna be downloaded instantly and the next one is inside of the settings again but now inside of accessibility and now face ID and attention and here is a very interesting feature that I probably won't use in the future but here is the haptic on successful authentication feature basically when you have successful authentication of face ID it will actually oh my gosh it will actually provide a nice haptic feedback to your iPhone so you know that your iPhone is now unlocked and Apple did not tell that but I can see that so many 3d touch features are now removed or I don't, I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature uh, but when I for example 3d touch on the music it actually works no problem but now when I 3d touch on this kind of widget Oh, now that works, but it wasn't working before, as you can see, yeah. So it doesn't work every single time I do that. Yeah, so now it doesn't work, it just, it just doesn't work from the first try, or I can just long press and it still works. That's that's really so confusing. And now finally the last one is inside of the control center and screen recorder. And up here we can actually select the source for output for our uh, video, the screen recording. So we can actually output it to the camera roll or a messenger. So hopefully in the future there is an option for maybe Twitch, maybe YouTube, something like this. But a very interesting concept just to actually screen record and show it to anybody else. Uh, so you guys, I think that that should be pretty much it for today uh, for my game definitely be sure to check it out if you're interested link down below also I wanted to show you this wallpapers you can actually download them right now all of the links will be down below in the description guys uh, these are hosted on Apple Digger and of course thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you around on my next one peace out